Additional Polling Place Activities and Guidelines This video provides guidelines for handling various activities that may occur in the polling place on Election Day. It also describes who is and is not allowed in the polling place and the rules that limit the conduct of visitors to the polling place. During voting hours, who is allowed in the polling place? Election judges, voters, persons helping voters who need assistance, vouchers, election observers who have an authorization letter from Ramsey County Elections or the Secretary of State's office, police officers if they've been requested by the head judge to keep order in the polling place, challengers with written authorization from a candidate or political party, teacher and student observers of the election process, members of the media. During voting hours, what activities or behavior are prohibited in the polling place? Disorderly persons, persons under the influence of drugs or alcohol, smoking, firearms and explosives, talking on cell phones or using video cameras, poll watching, Rules on campaigning in or near the polling place. Persons who are campaigning, campaign material, political badges, or other related items are also not allowed in the polling place. In addition, campaigning may not occur in the polling room within 100 feet of the building in which a polling place is located. A map with the 100-foot boundary displayed is in the green folder. Anywhere on the public property where a polling place is located, if you witness any campaigning within these boundaries, please ask the individuals to move outside the boundary or to cover the campaign material. Sample ballots or other voting aids. Sample ballots and voting aids are allowed in the polling place if brought in by voters for their personal use. These materials cannot be displayed outside of the voting booth or left in the voting booth. Check the voting booths periodically for materials left behind by voters. Additional Guidelines for Media and Challengers There are two groups of people who are permitted to be present in the polling place but have further guidelines which they must follow. Members of the media and challengers authorized by candidates or political parties. Media Media presence provides a valuable form of transparency to the elections process. Media photography and video recording is allowed in the polling room with limitations. Photographs cannot be taken of voted ballots. We recommend that the media ask for permission to photograph an individual voter before doing so. Broad shots of the polling place containing multiple voters are allowed. Any interviews must occur outside the polling room. Exit polling. Exit polling must occur outside the polling room. If conducting exit polls, an anonymous written questionnaire must be used. More information on the conduct of media and exit polling can be found in the Polling Place Reference Guide. Challengers Official challengers may be present in the polling place to challenge the eligibility of voters. Challengers are appointed by political parties for partisan races and by candidates in nonpartisan races. The head judge assigns a seat to the challenger, usually at the registration table, and the challenger may only challenge the eligibility of a voter based on the challenger's personal knowledge. Challengers are not allowed to make lists of who has voted, as this is considered poll watching. Challengers may only address election judges, not individual voters. Only one challenger per party or candidate may be present in the polling place. Challengers are allowed to remain for the entire day. The basis of all challenges must be stated in writing on the Oath of Challenger form. This form must be filled out by the person making the challenge and also completed by the election judge. First, have the challenged voter swear to or affirm the oath of challenged voter. You may then question the voter on the criteria on which the voter is challenged. If the voter's answers indicate the voter is eligible to vote in the precinct, allow the voter to begin the registered or non-registered voting process. If the voter's answers do not indicate eligibility, the voter is not allowed to vote. If the challenger persists with the challenge after going through these procedures, have the voter verbally repeat the oath at the top of the polling place roster and continue with the registered or non-registered voting process. If any challenges occur, record them on the election day journal and include the voter's name. More information on challengers is available in the polling place reference guide. Mm -hmm.